I've done quite a few videos in the past on engine detailing, even did a video on extreme engine detailing. Today we're doing extreme engine detailing on steroids. Pull the headlights out and clean every nook and cranny. <laughs> Look at that right there. Get all those little nut plates cleaned up, all those little edges. So let me tell you what we use to do this type of cleaning. Here's a good before shot on the other side. I know some of you are laughing and saying, hey, Kent, that's behind the headlight. Under the headlight, you can't even see that. Well, I'm sorry. I just have to have it clean. If I know there's dirt down in there, like right there, it's really hard to sleep at night. So we're gonna attack this with gusto. What's nice about the method I use is that you can do it in the garage or in the shop. You're gonna need some type of a drip pan to catch the minimal amount of water you're going to use. But we use three key components and I'm gonna show you how we tackle this area right here with them. The first thing is I use my sawed off paint brushes. I take a one inch and a two inch paint brush, cut them at an angle and cut them back so the bristles are stiffer, give you a better grubbing action. Then we use Dawn Industrial Degreaser. This stuff is amazing. I used to be a big fan of Purple Power or Castrol, but it was so obnoxious smelling. And this Dawn Heavy Duty Greaser is really something else. You're gonna to get to watch it here in action. And then finally, to rinse everything, because you don't want to be wiping everything off, you actually want to rinse it. We're going to use a small pump sprayer, just a small hand pump sprayer and clean water to rinse everything off after we've scrubbed away. Because the degreaser is so concentrated, we just spray a light coat of water over the area we're going to clean before we start scrubbing. Now when you're using this degreaser, you just put it on, let it kind of sit for a while because it'll start to break down all that scum and grease on its own. You don't need to start right off just scrubbing like crazy. Just get a nice coat in there and let it sit for a little bit. Then you can come back at it and <laughs> scrub away. So we're gonna scrub away for a couple of minutes here and then we'll come back and show you what this looks like when we rinse it with the pump sprayer. All right, we've completed our initial first phase scrubbing and we're gonna rinse it all off now to see how well we did. This allows us uh, to be able to find any other areas that need additional scrubbing. But you can see how using this pump sprayer only uses a small amount of water. If you try to get a garden hose in your shop, you, <laughs> you'd be sorry. All right, you can see we still got some areas that need work. So we'll rinse this off and start into phase two. All right, we're down to the final spraying. Look at this. Even got the factory Cosmoline there. <laughs> but isn't that something? I'm gonna show you the before picture real quick right now, and then we're gonna leave you with this beautiful shot of the front end of a 123.